You already know that I have a notebook for each one of my clients. Inside that notebook, a note for each team member and a note for each meeting. But sometimes when I'm teaching a Kanban board, I need a more visual representation of my notes and I use tables. Let me show you what I do. So here we have the sessions, the team members, and other notes I took inside the Green Elephant Company notebook. Let's say it's now session five and I'm trying to understand their workflow, but I want to take notes in a way that I can already visualize the board. So I'll create a table. And here's a tip for you. Do you know that you can use these brackets as columns? For example, I'm now representing three columns of a table times, let's say, two lines and enter to create your table. You can do this on the phone or tablet clients of Evernote. The first line represents the name of that stage, the title of the list, for example, backlog. And here we have stage one. I usually name the stages, but this is just an example. The stage two, let's add another column here and gone. Now let's make this visually better. For example, I can use, I don't know, blue. On the second line, I'll describe what's happening on that stage. So I'm just gonna pretend I'm writing something here, but the explanation of that stage also contains actions. Who's responsible for creating the card? Who moves the card? So I can drag someone here and type it. Miss E then moves the card or whatever she does with that card. But here's an important tip. If you're already writing something and you drag a note to that space where you're writing, Evernote will link that note as a, a text. However, when there is no text and you drag a note, Evernote will use the default configuration. Let me show you. Let's go to settings and then we can go to notes. And as you can see, my Evernote links are set to title. If I change this, for example, to preview, let's go back there. I'm gonna delete this and move again, then it's gonna be a preview. So just remember that and you're good to go. And of course you can set the links to always be text. Just change here. Now it doesn't matter if you have or not text here when you add a new note, it will be added as text. And because I'm taking these notes while I'm interviewing my client, trying to understand how things work there, of course, I'll make mistakes here, but it's easy to fix. Let's say this is in the wrong position. I can easily drag it to this position and now I have it on the right position. And I can also add new columns here, new lists to my table, uh, stage 2B. And of course, I can also delete it. Just pay attention because you have three options here. You don't want to delete your table. <laughs> but let's say I delete it by accident. Well, Command Z on a Mac or Control Z on Windows will undo that. So let's delete this column. And here we have it. In the past, I would do all this in a Trello board. Then I would print screen the board and drag that image inside the note. But it, it, I then would have to delete that board because it was not a, a real board. Was just I was just taking notes, and it was not easy to take the notes and see the notes. Doing it like this is much better. It's so easy because I. I'm taking notes inside the note, right? <laughs> Do you remember that on my system, I dragged the team member to the meeting and going back to the team member note, I can take a look at the back links and I know uh, the meetings they attended to. So dragging the team member to that table, to the workflow table, is another way to create a backlink on that team member and find notes, in this case, the workflow where that team member is connected to. And of course, it doesn't have to be only a representation. You can even create a real board, a simple one, but a real board. Uh, I've been testing this, been trying this for a while now, and here's what I came up with so far. 
the first thing I created was a notebook for the boards because guess what? If I do that, it's gonna be easier to create a widget on Evernote Home with all my boards. And here we have uh, again a table. It's a representation of a board, but in this case, it's gonna be a function of one. However, we have to make some tweaks here to... It's not, it's not good to work with a table like this, right? We have to be moving it around. So go with me for a moment here and let me show you what I did. First, I changed the width setting to fit the window. Then I, when I'm working on a board, I always go full screen. And as you can see, it's already much better. Now to add notes, I mean cards to the board, all I have to do is click on the column, the list, go to insert. And in this case, this is a video. So I know where all my videos are, my video notes. So click here go to YouTube. This is the notebook. Can you see how it's useful sometimes to have everything inside, everything about that topic inside the same notebook? I'm going to add uh, random notes here. Let's get this one. Oh, there's another setting that we have to change. So let's go back here to the settings. Remember that I can go to notes and set this as preview. Now, every time I add a new note, it's gonna be added as a preview, but I can also hover the mouse here, click the three dots and set it as preview. So let's do some more notes here. And as I'm sure you already noticed, we can move these cards, these notes around and we can reposition them like cards on a Kanban board. Now let's go to home and add this notebook there. Boards, let's call it boards and all the notes inside of the boards notebook. You see how useful this will be. Of course, the first benefit is that we have all the boards easily accessible on Evernote home. But do you remember what happens when you open a note from Evernote home? Let's click it. Full screen mode. It always opens like this. I'd say it is an unexpected benefit. It's a pretty basic board, but depending on what you need, it's gonna be more than enough. And what about you? How do you use tables? Do you use it in a different way? Please let us know in the comments below. And if this video was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. But if you want to help even more, please consider joining my Patreon. Thanks for watching. See you soon.